This is Elliot and Jose coming to you from Dreamland Comics in Schaumburg, Illinois, here on CCW TV. Uh, another thing that actually uh, was brought up quite a bit on the CCW TV blog was this book. By the time this video airs, it will have been out for at least two weeks. But no, it just came out this week. Well, by the time, this, like I said, by the time this video airs, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe about a week. Yeah. Uh, Batman Doc Savage, a one shot by Brian Azzarello and Phil Noto. I knew very little about this book uh, when I first heard about it. It seemed to me, I thought it was like kind of like an Elseworlds type thing. And I was intrigued because, for one, um, I think Doc Savage is one of the coolest characters out there. Uh, I remember I actually had a lot of the Doc Savage books from when DC had the property back in the 70s. They did a Doc Savage book. And Doc Savage is... the if, uh, if you're an old school comic book fan, comic nerd, you know that Doc Savage is kind of like the predecessor to all the superhero types. You know, you see little bits. I mean, I would say some some call Doc Savage the first superhero mm -hmm. as well. Doc Savage and Batman, now I find out, is part of kicking off uh, uh, a new line of books from DC called The First Wave. So a world without powers? It's, it's something, it's, yeah, it's pretty much just going to incorporate the spirit is going to be in this line of books. Yeah, it's pretty much, it's a new world. I think they explain it's a new world in the DC universe, in the multiverse, but it, it's a place, it's a world without people with powers. And it's really, I think that's kind of cool. Because if I can see more of this, if I can see more of, you know, Batman interacting with a lot of these other comic and pulp characters... This is really cool. That would be really cool for me as an old school comic book uh, reader. And um, uh, you look in the back of this issue and you see it's like the proposal that uh, Brian Azzarello submitted for this whole series. You have the Batman, you have Doc Savage, you have, of course, the Spirit. Justice Incorporated, another book I read from DC when they, ha when they uh, had that license back in the 70s. Um, they've been doing the spirit as of now, so, you know, it, I don't think folding him into this is going to be that big of a deal. And, of course, the Blackhawks is another cool thing. I think this book here really took advantage of both characters, and they, they kind of meshed together better than I expected, mm -hmm. to be honest. They meshed together better than I expected. Mind you... When you first read this, don't go into this book re uh, expecting uh, the Batman that you all know. Mm -hmm. The, uh, you know, the 2009 Batman or pre-Final Crisis Batman. Heck, don't even expect year one Batman. Because this Batman here seems even greener than mm -hmm. year one. And Brian Azzarello kind of explains why in the back. But once you get uh, past that whole adjustment, it really it works really well. I mean, this book, for what it was, was a really fun kickoff to what I think is going to be a nice series, provided that they can pull it off like this, that they get, you know, the better writers that really know these characters well enough to give them the proper uh, treatment that they need. And you're going to need, I'm sorry, you're going to need top-notch artists. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to be able to have, like, second-tier people. Phil Noto, in this book, kind of has to, he, he, he walks that kind of fine line between the modern and the classic look. Um, a lot of the work here in the art has, is more done with the coloring than it is with the pencils and mm -hmm. the layouts. Sometimes it worked. I, I think with the Phil Noto doesn't handle the action sequences as well as maybe some other artists would, but I think for this story overall and to set the tone, I think it did. I think it was pretty, pretty good. I enjoyed it. But the question is, was it worth $4.99? All right, so here's the thing. I'm going to disagree with everything you just said because I read this, and first of all, I was like, 
getting through it, they, there was nothing was resolved in this story. Right. You know, they, they right. nothing was resolved. Right. It somebody, was somebody up, died. Right. It, yeah, somebody yeah. dies. Uh, people think that that uh, Batman killed him, so Doc Savage comes in to take care of the Batman, uh, and then all this stuff happens off panel with the death of this guy who actually killed him. Uh, the guy who actually killed the guy at the beginning ends up getting killed, and it's it, nothing is resolved in here. The only thing that this it's like forty eight pages of Batman and Doc Savage meeting. And for those of you who don't know who Doc Savage is, uh, guess what? You're not going to know <laughs> after this. This story, the only reason I know who Doc Savage is is because I've worked in a comic book shop for the better part of two decades. And through osmosis, yeah. I know what that Doc Savage is about. All you get from this is that he is a world traveler. He goes on adventures and he's a doctor. Yeah. That's all you learn about Doc yeah. Savage in here. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You and you don't learn about. Obviously, they're saving. The, they're probably saving all this for origin stories, but you don't find out anything about Batman's origin right. in here. He talks about his Batman talks about his dad briefly, but you don't find out about his family. You don't understand. You don't know if the same thing happened to this Bruce Wayne that happened to the mm. current Bruce Wayne, and it just felt empty. Mm. It was a lot of empty calories in the Phil Noto art. I'm sorry. So minimalist that it didn't do. Uh, uh, yeah. It's just like there, there was no, there was n nothing to the story at all, and then the art was just very like empty. And I read it. I'm like for five dollars, like this was five dollars. Like if it was three dollars, it was the exact same thing. Maybe I can let it slide. But man, I, I was just like I was just reading it, and the ending comes out of nowhere. You're like it's yeah. di that's it. Yeah. I was kind of surprised. The ending was pretty abrupt, and things. It felt like all of a sudden, Azrael said, "Oh crap! I'm running out of pages here. I need to resolve this." You you make some valid points there. I mean, mind you, this I I preface this by saying I did not realize that this was a kickoff for a whole yeah. See, that's a whole bunch thing. of a bunch of books. So I mean, you had were... this been a one shot that was a standalone that it was just you know. This was the only time you were going to see these characters together. I would have said the same thing. I would have said, "Well, you know, you're not really giving me a whole lot." Exactly, and but you learn is... more about the characters in the back in these these write ups right. than you do in the story, and that's right. not how it should work. Yeah, no, that's a valid that's a valid point. Um, this I'm a... looking at it from the perspective that I kind of really know these characters. See, myself, exactly, and you know? I and I know who they are too. But if you're trying to kick off, this is Doc Savage's reintroduction into a DC book. Right. It's been a long time. And you want to get new people caught up on Doc Savage, you got to kind of give them the deal on Doc Savage. Right. Is he, in here, he's just another guy. Well, he's just, kind he's of just a formidable guy. Yeah, but kind of a formidable guy. Because, I mean, this guy goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman. I mean, he has but you, at least already, two confrontations. You, right, but you, we already know that Batman, this isn't the same Batman. This Batman makes tons of mistakes in here, too. Right. So it's not really that big of a deal to me that he even gets one up on Batman. Well, but you're seeing, I'm just saying, through the process of what happens, you're getting to know the characters that way. That's what I'm saying. The book kind of forces you to make certain adjustments. You learn over time that this Batman is not the Batman you're accustomed to seeing right. at all. Yeah, well, so, first of all, he's wearing shooting guns. So. <laughs> that was taking like the second page, so I already knew. Yeah, but the, that wasn't the, the Bob Kane Batman shot guns. You know, the early right. Batman did. Right, but that, I, that's how I already know, though, that it's a completely different Batman right. than what DC is selling right now. Right. Um, but I, the, the criticisms that you have are pretty valid, and you're right. The ending was really abrupt. Like I said, everything happens off panel just to try to wrap things up, and it's like, who gives a shit? It's there was just yeah, uh, the yeah. climax. There was no climax. It was just like, I don't know. Well, I mean, to me, this just felt like a setup book. So what? And then they put it right there on the front. You know, first wave begins. So you know, this is the first issue. But of that's the whole thing. Stuff if, to, come. to me, this, this this just was like a whole lot of nothing. And if this was supposed to get me excited for their whole line of books, I was more excited in, the, in seeing all this stuff in the back of what they're going to do. Yeah. Then the story actually. No, you're right. Made. You're right. That that didn't. You're correct. You know what? That just just me. just reprint these eight pages in the back. Give them out for free at comic <laughs> shops. And and that'll get people more interested than reading this book. You know that actually made a re that's a good point. You could have done that as like a free giveaway, then taken that out of this, and then you could have brought the cover price of this book down. Yeah, and then people would know the Doc Savage, so they were not thinking that oh, I'm yeah. going to get some info on Doc Savage uh, in the story. Yeah, there you, you know, go. if they would have reprinted this, given out for free like two or three weeks. Yeah. I mean, they were um, in DC all month. They were they were. Uh, 
they're all the books. The they're, first four pages. The first four or five pages. Right. What if that was just like this stuff? Right. Like the dossiers and stuff. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Yeah. Well, you know, you have very valid criticisms. You know, I, I can't. It, it's those are both sides of the same coin, and I think you know, both of us have. And Brian Nesrell is better than this. There's just, he, I don't think he... You know, uh, you're right. Although, I'll be honest with you. And uh, again, Brian Nesrell is a great writer. Uh, but 100 Bullets kind of, you know, petered out there at the end. Mm-hmm. And um, I did not like his Superman uh, for tomorrow. I just didn't care for it. He did a lot of this writing, this um, um, caption writing that segues into dialogue, that segues back into captions and stuff, mm-hmm. like really clever stuff that unless the letterer does it perfectly and the artist compliments it perfectly, it's not going to work. And it didn't work for me in, um, in Superman. So, you know, but that's just, that's just me. A lot of people are going to disagree with me and they're entitled to. Well... Uh, in the end, though, uh, four ninety nine was a little ste- a steep for me. It's yeah. kind of steep, and I'm not going to criticize Marvel, um, you know, Marvel for it. But and not did... criticize. I'm not going to criticize right. Marvel for it, and then not criticize. I mean, DC. we did get like forty eight pages of solid art. Yeah, solid with, art. With some of this stuff in the back, which they, like I said, take out the stuff in the back and bring it down a dollar. Well, three, but... Yeah, I was going to say make it a three ninety nine. I don't know. Then. You know, yeah. that's just a lot, especially if you want it to be the first book mm-hmm. that you want to introduce people to a universe. All right, when we come back, I actually wanted to talk a little bit about a series that I've been working on, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. So we hope we see you there.